From robots assisting with operations to AI-influenced diagnostics, technology is transforming the multi-trillion dollar healthcare sector. The future of medical care might be closer than we think. Welcome to The Exchange from our studio here in Doha. Coming up on this episode, we speak to GE Healthcare. Revenue for the multinational medical technology firm rose to almost $20 billion last year. We speak to president of GE Healthcare International, Ellie Shylot, about how that growth is changing the prognosis for investors as well as patients. Plus, we speak to Bertalan Meshko, director of the Medical Futurist Institute, for a look at the latest inventions and advances in medical equipment. Well, according to analysis by the World Economic Forum, the global healthcare market is worth a staggering $9 trillion annually. To put that number in perspective, that accounts for 11% of the entire world's GDP. Well, technology is changing healthcare at incredible speed. Robot-assisted operations are on the rise, and tech is also making firms more efficient. Financial consultants Deloitte predict that artificial intelligence could create $360 billion of savings over the next five years in the US market alone. While I went on a visit to a medical facility in Qatar that's embracing the latest tech to enhance patient care. Let's take a look. This is Amman Hospital. It's a good example of a fresh approach that combines technology, medicine and design to improve people's lives. The first thing you notice is that it doesn't look or feel like a traditional hospital. There's clearly a commitment here to investing in everything required to help patients and visitors feel relaxed and reassured. And that includes investment in high-tech medical equipment. In the first of its kind in Qatar, Amman Hospital is investing in artificial intelligence as part of its IVF program. Experts believe that AI-powered fertility treatment could improve the chances of a healthy pregnancy by as much as 30%. In the world of IVF, in embryo selection, artificial intelligence it allows you not to only assess the embryo by looking at its appearance, but also by studying its behavior. Ultimately, this allows you to select better embryos and it enables us to reach better pregnancy rates and pregnancy outcomes. Investing in innovation is also a top priority in the field of neurology. This is the RTMS machine. It stimulates the brain, which helps treat a range of conditions. Let's take the example of depression. Uh, studies have shown that the front areas of your left brain show abnormally low levels of activity. RTMS is used to activate these areas and the patient will feel better in parallel. And this could be long lasting depending on the number of sessions. In other conditions, let's say migraines, for example, the back of your brain is hyperactive and we use RTMS to inhibit those areas using certain type of frequencies. For hospitals like this one, the future of healthcare is based on a deep understanding of what makes us all unique. But in the quest for truly holistic healthcare, brilliant business systems have become just as important as breakthrough biochemistry. Ellie Shylot is president of GE Healthcare International, one of the world's biggest medical technology companies. I asked him where GE is focusing its investment over the next five years and how far that will improve patient health. Different markets, uh, you know, have different needs, right? But I think I would see three different uh, ways of looking at markets today. Uh, you have the mature markets where technologies are not necessarily all new. It's established. We have the right healthcare professionals delivering services. These markets are basically having much more aging population. I'm looking here at the Western Europe, Germany, France, Italy, the UK, but also if you look in Asia, Japan, South Korea, Australia, New Zealand, these are maturing and aging population markets. And so they would need a different kind of healthcare. Uh, if you look at emerging markets, emerging markets need much more access to healthcare. And so the customer, or in this case, the patient experience is getting better and the journey and the care pathway is shorter and more efficient. And, you know, it goes back to our purpose. How do we use our experience, our technology, our innovation 
to bring a world or to create a world where healthcare has no limits. A world where healthcare has no limits, a bold vision from GE Healthcare. But what tools and technology do medical staff need to make this future vision a reality? Dr. Bertalan Meshko is director of the Medical Futurist Institute. He's a physician, analyst and entrepreneur who predicts that high-tech medical gadgets will one day make healthcare invisible. Well, I caught up with him and I asked him to explain more. As the medical futurist, people always expect me to come up with uh, something exciting in the world of technologies. But the one thing I'm far the most excited about looking at the recent years of progress in medicine and healthcare is patient empowerment. I know it doesn't sound cool, but this is simply the biggest milestone in the history of healthcare, that this is an unprecedented paradigm shift that patients can finally bring data, insights, uh, second opinion, peer support to the table. There are a few technological trends though that stand out. As examples, I would come up with skin patches and like bracelets that can continuously measure blood pressure. Actually, you know, I can go on forever about all these gadgets from um, smartphone connected ECGs to devices that can do a vision test uh, for patients at home. But the general trend is that a swarm of devices has become accessible for patients to finally interact with the data they used to own, but had no interfaces to access them. Now it's time for our regular feature, Business in 60 Seconds. Start the clock. American Express prepares to provide an earnings release for the second quarter of 2024. The giant finance brand has recently expanded into the Indian market and launched the first Amex business credit card in Nigeria, with plans to extend card services to Ghana, Rwanda and Congo. Swedish carmaker Volvo is also due to update on its Q2 performance. In the first quarter of this year, news of the firm's lower than expected revenue caused a sharp share price drop of 6%. But with retail sales rising worldwide, analysts will be hoping for a better reaction to the results in the second quarter. And Lloyd's Banking Group is set to release the company's half-year financial results. The UK-based banking giant had disappointing Q1 numbers. Profits fell 28% after tough training conditions in both mortgages and savings markets. Bosses are hoping that increased confidence in the wider economy will have arrived just in time to boost these half-year numbers. Well, whether it's robots in operating theatres or AI making hospitals ultra-efficient, Technology is giving the global healthcare sector a truly holistic transformation. Well, that's all we have time for on this edition of the show. Thank you for watching. Please do check out euronews.com for all your latest business news and join us again next time on The Exchange.